Welcome to our lecture online. We now know that the biological tests that were done with Viking 1 and Viking 2 looked very promising and definitely a strong indicator that life may exist on the planet's surface. But the test results were negated because of the test done using the spectrometer, the mass spectrometer. And so we need to understand what that test does and how it's done, how it's conducted, in order to understand the importance of the success of the three experiments that were done for biological life as it is being negated by the spectrometer test or mass spectrometer test. So it's called the gas chromatograph mass spectrometer test and it's used to detect organic material in the soil. But how did it do that? Well first of all they placed some soil in a small oven. They baked it to drive off any volatile gases then they used a chromatograph to separate the gases, so assuming that the process of baking it released some gases. And those gases may have come from organic material. Organic material at high temperatures typically uh, breaks apart and gases would be released, so that was the attempt. And then they used the mass spectrometer to analyze the composition of those gases. Well, let's see here. The purpose of the test was to eliminate ambiguities in the three biological experiments. So this was done intentionally so that if any positive results occurred in the biological tests, a negative here would eliminate any ambiguities, meaning there would be a result of no life on the surface. Failure to detect organic strongly suggests no life. So if this experiment comes out negative, there's a very strong indicator as being no life present on the surface. But if there was a detection of organic material using this test, that does not constitute proof or evidence that organic, that biological organic material existed. Because organic material, organic material can be biological, it can also be non-biological. So it turns out the result was that no organics were found which means not even non-biological organic material was found. Now, keep in mind that non-organic biological material, or, or I should say non-biological organic material, is sometimes found on meteorites. But that, that doesn't constitute that they came from life, because again, you can have non-biological organic materials. And we realize that any biological materials on the surface of Mars, let's say that a meteorite brings some in from somewhere else and deposits on the surface, the UV radiation and the cosmic radiation would obliterate that in a very short amount of time. So again, the conditions are such that if for some reason biological organic material would be found on the surface, it would be short-lived as it would be destroyed by the UV radiation and by the uh, cosmic radiation. So the results are that the biological test results were negated. There's no indication using the mass spectrometer that organic material existed, even non-biological organic material. And so therefore, unfortunately, no life on the surface of the planet Mars.